A measure on the November ballot to legalize marijuana has brought both sides of the fight to San Diego. Hundreds of drug prevention officials from across the country are meeting in town this week. But as Jeff Zevely reports tonight, this is not your typical relaxing San Diego getaway. In California last year, the campaign against marijuana planning called CAMP eradicated 18 million marijuana plants. A lot of these places are booby-trapped. John Redman, a camp policymaker, believes a movement to tax marijuana in California is severely misguided. Marijuana is not legal, it's not taxed, it's not regulated. As soon as you do that, it's going to do two things. It's going to increase the availability in our neighborhoods and to our youth, and it's going to decrease the perception of harm and risk. What do we want? Legalization. When do we want it? Now. But those who support legalized marijuana say it would save America $14 billion a year. That is huge money. Leo Lawrence is a former law enforcer who says if marijuana is regulated and taxed, the money will go to state coffers instead of cartels. We are spending enormous amounts of money on law enforcement when that money could better go into education. Over the next four days, more than 300 camp members will meet at the U.S. Grant Hotel. The police presence in downtown San Diego has been strong all day, but right now there are more officers than protesters. This war on cannabis is a war on the whole human family of God. Episcopal priest Mary Moreno Richardson believes legalizing marijuana will help prevent children from smoking it. Drug dealers do not ask for ID. They decide who they will sell to, our children. As for the argument marijuana will help a cash-strapped California, pot opponents want you to consider the damage from cigarettes alone. We do garner $1.5 billion of income in the state of California, and we spend $15 billion in the state of California in terms of public health costs alone. Does that make sense? A question for all voters when pot hits the polls in November. Jeff Zevely, News 8. Created in 1983, CAMP is one of the largest law enforcement task forces in the United States. Our camera was not allowed inside the conference because many of the officers attending the event are undercover.